We've got uh, Sam on the line. Hey there, Sam. What is your question? Hey, Sam. Yeah, could you please clarify what the uh, current state laws are as far as uh, concealed weapons and open carry? Well, I, I think the easiest way to answer your question, uh, open carry has always been on the books. Uh, you know, it, it's you know where you can just you know openly carry a firearm on your hip or strapped across your shoulder and and walk around in public. You know, it's you know you might get some funny looks, but it's legal. Mm -hmm. uh, as far as the concealed carry, you know, there was a bill passed. This it became law in January that permits are no longer required to carry a concealed weapon. And you know, that has seen some challenges, but it is the law. And there still are restrictions. If a business, you know, posts that there are no firearms allowed, you know, you, you have to honor that or you could face charges for trespassing. And you know, but they had there there are several measures that are put in place that address that. But you know, it did remove the requirement to carry a permit. However, we still encourage people if you travel to at least purchase one for traveling through those reciprocal states you know, because you know they they still do require permits. Hey, let me ask you this though because I, I believe when uh, the former sheriff uh, Sam Cochran was on that um, he was and, and I don't want to you know uh, misquote him but he was against um, um, it, you know because law, law enforcement in general yeah. I, I think Jimmy Barber a lot of people they you know, they want more, I guess, restrictions for the safety of the officers and the public. What, what's your viewpoint on that? Well, restriction, using the word restriction is what gets everybody worked up. Right. Um, you, know, it, you know, I am, you know, Sam Cochran, we're, we're big Second Amendment, you know, supporters. But, you know, we wanted, we understood the law, but, you know, it doesn't seem that there was any common sense applied. Right. So. Um, you know, I, I was opposed to it, just like he was, and, 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 and law enforcement leaders, the Alabama Sheriff's Association opposed it. The, from a safety standpoint, not just for law enforcement, but for our citizens. Um, there are a number of things that, you know, tools that that law took away that help us to faster uh, or to catch violent offenders faster, those who are carrying illegal firearms. And right. I get, but one thing that is helpful, at least with this new law, is that you can't lie about having the gun. It's actually a crime now that if an officer asks you, do you have a weapon, and then the, su the suspect doesn't disclose that they have a gun, you can now be charged with a misdemeanor on that. And I know the police have been charging people with that. They're, they're able to do that under a city ordinance. The, you know, there's actually a, a, an amendment to, or you know, amendment to it in Montgomery that's still being discussed requiring uh, that you declare yeah. and that's still very those who put the law in place are opposing that that as well sure. as a, a duty to declare and mm -hmm. so it's there's language in the law where yes it's a crime but it gives no punishment assigned to the crime right. hmm. interesting